Assalamu alaikum students, how are you? Hopefully you are all doing well. Uh, yes students, you are looking at four different words on the screen. And we are going to study about these four different words. And it's going to be a really interesting way. Do concentrate on the pictures that are available in this presentation to help you out to understand what I'm trying to say. So the first we are going to discuss is syllable, the second is noun, the third one is pronoun and the fourth one is adjectives. Most of you must have known about all these. Today uh, it is going to be a little review and also we are going to learn something new in it. So we are going to start with the syllable. Syllable is a single and broken sound of a spoken word. Well, syllable is so much, so much related with vowels. Yes, uh, there are so many things in English. The first thing is uh, vowels in, is involved everywhere. And whenever uh, the number of times you hear a vowel in a word, it is equal to the number of syllables a word has and a good way to identify the syllable syllables is to think about whether you need to change your mouth shape to say the next bit of the word for example cat cat a, a is there the vowel is there so it has only one syllable the next one is water water so there are two vowels in it, A and E. So that means there are two syllables in it. And same is the case with the rest of these words. Okay. So what I want you to do is this worksheet. In this worksheet, we are going to read each, read each word and divide it by putting a slash between each syllable. On the space, tell how many syllables are in each word. For example, photo. Fo -to. So there is a slash between this one and there are two syllables. O, 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 O. So there are two vowels in it. So that means there are two syllables in this. Next you, want, you have to do is this one. Vec Vacation. Vacation. See, there is one vowel, there is two vowel, there is three vowel, there is the fourth vowel. So, how many syllables are going to be over here? Yes, four. This is the way you are going to solve this exercise for me, this worksheet for me and send the picture to me okay now let's move forward yes noun we already did a little bit about noun in the class uh, maybe some of you remember something that i sent you uh, to the window and asked you what you can see from the window and you counted so many things over there so the thing is, at that time, I told you that there are things and everything has a name to it. So yes, noun is a naming word. It can be the name of a thing, place, person, animal or feeling. For example, John, Fatima, China, church, car, hat, bottle, dog, rabbit, elephant, joy, fear and beauty. Yes. So the next thing what you have to do for me is a worksheet. What you need to do is you have to underline the noun in the following sentences. Just underline the noun and then take a picture and send it to me. Okay. Let's move forward. Mm, wow. Look. Pronoun. Jack and Millie came to tea. Jack is he and Mary she and little Susie well that's me okay 
In English grammar, pronoun is a word that substitute for a noun. That means we are going to replace the noun and put a pronoun instead of that noun. For example, I, me, we, they, you, he, she, it. Yes, these are the words that are pronouns. This is, I think, the most easiest one. So, if this is the case, let's see the next thing. Yes, a worksheet, a very short one. What you need to do over here is rewrite these sentences with a pronoun from the word bank below. I have given you some words. You need to fill up the fill in the blanks over here and rewrite the whole sentence. Okay, fill this worksheet and send it to me. The next thing is adjective. Yes, adjective. Uh, with the name of this adjective, this means that we are going to add something in some sentence. We are going to add something. Yes, an adjective is a word that describes a noun or pronoun. Describing means that we are going to add something. For example, Ayan is wearing a red shirt. Well, the shirt is there, but what type of shirt is there? A red shirt. Yes. Now look at the picture over here. I have given these so many words. And all these words are what? Adjectives. We are adding something to the sentences. Okay, let's move forward. Oh, wow. This is a very interesting worksheet over here. But pictures. Hopefully, you are going to enjoy this one. For each picture, I have given you three different words. And there is a picture with it. That is describing something. Now, what you have to describe is to circle out the one that is completely fitting with the picture. For example, the first one over here. There is a man and there is water over here and it looks like that this man is slipping and he is going to fall. So, which one is going to be the word? Empty, free or falling? Yes, falling. So, what you have to do is circle out this word or write this word on a loose sheet and send it to me. The first one is falling the second one over here you are going to write it down and then send it to me okay you can just write the names identify them and i'll know which one is the correct one okay this is the worksheet okay students now the homework do the worksheets that are present in the presentation and do concentrate on one thing that I want a little short videos while you are doing your work. When you will be filling out the worksheets or anything, uh, I want all of you to make a short video of it and send it to me. Okay, students. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Take care. Allah